Summon the blood sacrifice. When Cold Harbor calls, Nern obeys. God of schemes, we offer this victim to honor you. Through the spilled blood of an innocent, we call forth your anchor to join our worlds. Find this world with your chains. Draw it ever closer to your realm.
hands bow to me or die. Minion, destroy them. Tenacity, models. My brother was stationed. If phrase bones, am I glad to see another traveler on this road? Personally, I can't wait to get out of here. Something really strange is going on here. You're going to think I'm crazy, but there's a cave not far from here. My apprentice and I camped there to get out of the weather, and when we woke up, a whole village had appeared out of nowhere, full of elves and homes and everything. Do what you want. One of them asked what year it is. I didn't wait to find out if it was a Daedric trick or if I was just crazy. None of them followed me outside, thankfully. You're looking for a high elf woman? Yes, I saw one pass this way, right into that strange cave. The one with the village that just appeared out of nowhere. Of course, and it's not one of the Falunesti sites, so it's not the walking city if that's what you're thinking. Their voices sounded Bosma, but it could be a trick to draw us in. Good luck in there. Let's get back to Shrouded Vale before it's too late. Lovely day, isn't it? Ate a bit too much at dinner, though. Haven't had any of Greenshade snails in a long, long time. Go on in. There's probably some left over. We always share what we have. Good to see a fresh face. We villagers can get tired of just looking at each other after a hundred years. It came from a place without hunger or suffering. A place where we live peacefully and without fear. It's as unlike Valenwood as possible. But, to be honest, I'm not sure where it is. I was only a child then, so I kept to the village. It can't have changed much in the last hundred years, can it? 
Now our scouts say there are orcs beyond the cave, so I'm less inclined to venture forth. Well, my family hosted travelers from a place called Gilverdale once. I'd like to see it with my own eyes. An outsider. Wait. Ah, you're not one of those wood orcs, thank you, Frey. Welcome to our humble home. You met someone outside, did you? Some people get so frightened they won't talk to us. Yes, there is a village in this cavern. If you would like to hear our story, I'd be happy to share it with you. Promise you won't run away. Our village has a pact with the Wilder King himself. The village goes away, then returns every hundred years or so. Most of the time, our arrival causes no problem. This time, however, it's different. Wood Orcs set up camp outside this cave's southern entrance. They've never been here before, and so we've kept quiet, hoping they'd go away. It's been a week, and they are firmly established. My husband, Aranor, isn't as worried as I am, though. My husband, Aranor, can tell you more. Essentially, we travel to and from this place, thanks to the Wilder King. A caretaker protects things in the village's absence. In fact, we'll choose a new caretaker very shortly. Nearly everyone from the village attends the ritual to choose the next caretaker. No one knows who it'll be until the prior caretaker picks a name. It's held at the Fading Tree, through the central hall of this cave. You should see it! It's very exciting. It's a part of the oath. Ask my husband. He knows much more about it than I do. I prefer to scout and hunt, not tend plants. He'll be at the choosing ceremony. If you hurry, you can talk with him before it starts. My father is getting crazy in his old age. What's so exciting about the mundane world? An outsider in Shrouded Hollow? That's a rare sight. Another visitor. You've arrived at an auspicious time for our village. I am Erinor of Shrouded Hollow. You've met Lan Ariel. <laughs> she speaks too freely sometimes, but I will tell you what I can. Our village, as you may be aware, is not here normally. A long time ago, our tree thanes and ancestors swore a sacred oath to which we are still bound. It's not my place to reveal the nature of the oath. For that, you must speak to our current caretaker, Henedras. If you wait, you might also speak to the new caretaker, when one is chosen. Indeed. It's an honor to be selected. Once the preparations are complete, the old caretaker passes his duties to the new one. Who are you? How do you know about the Fading Tree? I'm not without sight. I saw you talk to him, he's right in front of me. How do you know about us? Well, no point to that now, is there? You've entered our innermost sanctum and without challenge. It's clear to me the Wilder King blesses your presence. That means I am bound by our oath to speak with you. 
no matter how it galls me. We swore to protect the Fading Tree for the Wilder King and to abide by his rules. In return, he protects our village. Every hundred years or so, the village returns to choose a new caretaker to guard the Fading Tree on his behalf. The Wilder King created the Fading Tree and he bent everything in Valenwood from Bramble Breach to Greenheart to his will. From the first, he became our patron and protector. Some consider him a god, like one of the divines. The village goes where the Wilder King sends it and allows it to return when the caretaker needs to be replaced. I'm a very old man now. The village returned as it always does. Ever since the last time the village was here, so a bit over a hundred years. Fading Tree and I care for each other, and the Wilder King provides my sustenance. I don't understand why the Wilder King let you in, though. The Fading Tree chooses. It guides us towards the next caretaker. Not everyone has the courage, intelligence and fortitude to undertake this position. Everyone from the village knows how hard it can be, and yet nearly everyone wants to do this. Zonesome? <laughs> nah, it's nice to get away from everyone else. It's quiet, peaceful, and the Wilder King comes round now and then. Some might think of them as dreams, but I know he's been to see me. A caretaker's life is anything but dull. It shall begin shortly, if I can take a moment to prepare for it. We come together once more to choose the next caretaker. The Wilder King entrusted the Fading Tree to us, and this is part of our oath. My time as caretaker nears its end, and the Fading Tree will choose my successor. What's happening? Tree chooses Eranor. Eranor, you will be our next caretaker. Me? The tree picked me. I'm honored. I'll do my best. Come, Eranor. We have much to discuss. Orcs! Orcs are attacking the village! Eranor, Cantadir! We're under attack. The orcs have attacked. We were caught by surprise, but those still inside are fighting back. You need to distract them. Kill their leader and burn their tents. We'll rescue the villagers. The orcs are camped off the cave's southern entrance. The Wilder King must have sent you to save us. He always protects us. Always. There isn't time to indulge in idle fantasies and what-ifs. Please, help the villagers below. I need a moment to gather what wits I have left.
So much evil, so much death. Fate mocks me. There you are. Praise the Wilder King, you're alive! I knew he would save us. We would have suffered much more if you hadn't been here to help. They killed quite a few of us, but we gave almost as good as we got. Have you seen Eranor? He didn't return from the Fading Tree when the others did. What? No. No, not now. Not when I need him more than ever. When we go, we leave a caretaker behind to watch over the Fading Tree. The caretaker and the tree are our link between this place and where the Wilder King sends us. I didn't expect Eranor to be chosen. And he can't stay. He can't. It's just... What I mean is, I can't bear to lose him. We won't be able to bear it. He's so excited and it's such a great honor, but he doesn't know what it will cost our family. I'm pregnant. I only found out recently. Eranor doesn't know. I'm not sure I want him to, but if he knew, he could leave with us. Please, please, convince him to return to the Wilder King's realm with us. I'm sure the Wilder King will understand. A family must remain together to raise a child. If Eranor stays behind, our child will be grown before he sees her. We'll be too old when the village returns next time to have another. It's our last chance. You don't know what this means to me. I'm afraid if I tell him, he might think I've made up a story to keep him with me. No, that's not it. I'm afraid he'll choose his duty over his wife. I, Eranor, in accordance with the Oath of Protection, stand ready. On behalf of the Wilder King, will you care for the Fading Tree? I am honored to serve the Wilder King and our people. The Fading Tree is yours to protect. May the years pass quickly. This is incredible. I feel the life of the Fading Tree flow within me. Have you seen my wife? Where's Laniriel? Why hasn't she come to congratulate me? Has she? I love Laniriel. But we swore an oath to leave a caretaker to protect the Fading Tree. That is the price the whole village must pay so that we can live in the paradise the Wilder King creates for us. Do you think I haven't thought of this? But I would be failing my oath to the Wilder King and the entire village if I didn't stay behind. What? I didn't know. Why didn't she tell me? What kind of caretaker would I be if I didn't care for my own child? And yet, I have a responsibility to the entire village now. This problem comes at a terrible time. I must decide quickly. And not that. It's the tree. Now that I can feel its essence, I realize it's weaker than it used to be and needs special care. The village must return to the other realm immediately, so the caretaker... So I can tend it without distraction. Only the old caretaker knew. The village is set to leave soon. If anything happens to the tree, its link between Tamriel and our village is severed. They can never return unless I stay behind. I would. Naturally, I want to, but everyone else is ready to leave. As soon as the orcs cleared out, they prepared. 
There's no one left to leave as the caretaker. No, it's not. No matter which I choose, I'll always wonder what would have happened had I taken the other path. I know which way is easy and which is hard. What will you choose? I will do as you would since the Wilder King sent you to us. Perhaps this child shows the Wilder King is pleased by our service and won't let anything happen to the Fading Tree. He wouldn't let anything happen to it. My family needs me. When the village returns to the Wilder King's paradise, I'll go with it. I've known sooner about you. About us. I thought we would have more time. And now, we shall. Prepare for our journey, beloved. I will join you soon. I leave joyfully, knowing you'll be with us. Fate brought you to us at this turning point. I'm glad to heed your advice. We must cling to life wherever we find it. You reminded me of that, and I thank you. The Wilder King could create a new tree in its place. Or perhaps now we're meant to stay in paradise. If the fading tree survives, we'll return again. And I'll know my decision was correct. If we never return, at least I'll be with my family to the end. <laughs> 